kid. So one of the things, you know, one of the probably most important thing when it comes to dealing with human beings or dealing in public in general is being authentic, right? If you're not authentic, you will not be able to have, you will not be able to bless people. You will not be able to uh, be an effective communicator. And one example comes to mind for me as I was talking about, thinking about authenticity. You see, I went into university as a Christian. So I lived all my life in university as a Christian, right? So all the people that were with me in university saw me as a Christian, right? And a lot of them today are born again, pastors, because of the life they saw me lead. Right. I didn't know at that point in time, but as we discussed today, they all of them are referencing, oh, these are ah, these da, da, da. I have no clue what it was that they saw. Right. Until that day are the ones telling me today. So the challenge now is for me. I live my life just being me <laughs> when my life impacted them. You know, there's a temptation for me now to be more careful to the who to the they're not Christian. Let me show them an example. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and and being extra careful means I'm going to just now try to be something I'm not, you know? So I have to just make a, make a decision for myself, right? Whatever it was that God used my life to bless them with is between them and God. It has nothing to do with me, right? I just lead my life. Now, I'm not going to now sacrifice my life trying to now use my power to bless them. I'm just going to be me, right? Me at my level of work with God. So you see me there, I don't try to play spiritual or religious, you know, I just be me, you know, and I don't know how much that is affecting or not affecting some of them, but I'm just me, Christian child of God, not trying to use my own power to influence anybody, but just living my life before God as who I am. Do you, I don't know, does that make any sense to, to you? And does that make any sense to you? Do you understand what I'm trying to portray? Yes. Yeah. Because I, I could also, I could be amongst them, be, be, be like, Pastor, be careful what I say, being gentle. No, I go there. Anybody that crosses me, I abuse the person. Right? At that time of abusing, you know, I joke a lot. <laughs> you know? But for as long as I do that, and I, I'm doing it within my conscience, being right before God, now, it's up to God. For as long as my relationship with God is right, right? I'm not trying to do anything in my power. I'm not trying to be who I'm not, right? I'm trying to be who I am before God. So anywhere they meet me, they'll meet the same person. They will not meet someone that is trying to be a, 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 a clown or a masquerade, right? So, and that affects us, you know? And for me, I have to be myself in several places. I'm on Facebook, social media. Uh, I'm relating with people I've probably never met in my whole life, you know. I'm relating with people all over the world, right? I'm relating with people in the Caribbean, South Africa, all over the world, right? And I can only play, be, I can only play a part for so long. My real self will show off. So it's easier for me, less stressful just to be me, right? And leave the impact to God, right? I'd be me, sincere me, as a child of God, you know? And we need to find, all right? And each of us need to find that place for us, right? We need to live authentic lives, right? It's our conscience before God, conscience before ourselves, you know? For as long as we're leading to whatever ethos, we hold high for our own self, you know, the impact is, 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 is in God's hands.